second grade. Today, we are going to work together to organize our arm span data and make a line plot. So this is our goal today. You're going to organize your data and make a line plot. And I think that a few of you might have your hand up already and you're thinking, what's a line plot? A line plot is a kind of graph, um, but it's a little bit different in the way that you make it. So I'm going to show you how to make it right now. Your first step is to look at the arm span and long jump data. And you're just going to use the arm span data. So if you go back to our um, number three regrouping lesson and you look at what's there, there's a page that everybody had to fill out their arm span. Now, some people haven't done it yet, so we're just going to use the information that we have. Okay? And so when you get to it, it might look a little bit different than mine, but you'll get the idea. So the first thing that you need to do is look at that checklist. It has everybody's name, and in the first column it has their arm span, and the second column it has the long jump. You can ignore the long jump for now. So in the arm span, look really carefully. Find the smallest arm span. The smallest arm span on our list, um, it actually belongs to Violet, and I have it as 45. And so that's going to be our lowest number, our first number that we start with. And so you can write 45 right there. Now, look through that same list. Find the biggest number. The longest arm span belongs to Diana, and hers is 56 inches. Okay, so then what you're going to do is going to write every number on here from 45 to 56. And that's what I did right here. Okay, so you can see it a little bit bigger. And we're going to go through my list of arm spans, my checklist of them that I have right here, and we're going to put one tally mark for every person's arm span at the length that they are. So Brody, his arm span was 51. So I'm going to come down to 51, and I'm going to make a tally right next to it. And you should do that in your book. I'm not doing it in the book because you can see it better if I do it up here. And then next is Annika. And hers is 50, right, Annika? Next is Ben's, and his is 53. 53 inches. Remember, we measure these all in inches. And Brady is 53, too. So now we have two tallies there. If you need to slow down, you can stop the video and start again. And Ibrahim's is 50, 50 inches. And so is Jacob's, and so is Colin's. Wow, that one has a lot so far. And let's see, let's keep going. Lucy's is 47. Here's her, right there. And Zachary's is 49. Right there. Um, Zane's is 51. And Gabriel, his is 49. And so do you see where you would be putting your tally marks right in here next to the right number? Just use this space to put in your tally marks like I am putting them right here. And we just did Zane, right? And Violet is 45. And Whitley is 49. And Diana is 56. And Delaney is 50. Oh, there's a lazy Larry. Boom. And Rex is 49. So those are the ones that I have at this point. When you decide to do this activity, you might have a few extra arm spans. And I'll tell you what, if somebody has added who, is, who has a longer arm span, you'll need to add 57, 58 at the bottom. And if somebody has a shorter one, you'll have to put smaller numbers at the top, okay? But if yours, if you're doing it right away, I think this is what yours is gonna look like. Next, and you might want to have a grown-up help you with this. You see the numbers that I put on page 187. I should have told you that earlier. This is all on page 186 and 187 of your math book. So on page 187, what was our smallest number? 45. 
and then you need to write one number really small underneath each little hash mark from 45 all the way up to 56 even if some of the numbers don't have any tally marks next to them at all that's okay so you need to write all of them and the reason I suggest that maybe you have your grown-up do it is they have a little bit smaller writing it's very hard to write this tiny and get it lined up with a little hash mark so if you can do it great if not ask your grown-up to help you next step is we have to start putting X's. Well, actually, we've got all you've got all your tallies here now. Now you have to write the number in the next column over. So you can do that because for 45 you'd write one. For 46, what are you gonna write? Yeah, zero. For 47, you're gonna write one. I guess I can do that for you. So one, zero, one, zero. Four, five, two, zero, two, zero, zero, one. And then we're going to take that data and place it on the line plot. So with your pencil, we're going to start at number 45, and you are going to make your x, one x, for however many tallies or whatever number each um, possible arm span has. So for the number 45, how many X's are you going to make? You're going to make one. And am I going to make my X this big? No, kind of tiny because it's got to fit right up there. So here, about that size. Does that help? Okay, and then 46, I have zero, so I don't do anything. 47. I put one and 48 has zero. 49 has four. One, two, three, four. And 50 has how many? Yeah, it has five. See how I'm trying to keep my X's about the same size? Mm -hmm. So now above 50, I put five X's. One, two, three, four, five. And pencil is a really good idea in case you make a mistake. And then for 51, I have two. What's wrong with that X? Right, it's way too big. And it kind of makes my line plot go off. And remember, a line plot is just another kind of graph. Do you see how this is kind of coming together like a graph? Yeah. And then 52 has zero. 53, how many X's? Right, two. And 54 is zero, 55 is zero, 56 is one. Once we got our data organized, that didn't take very long, did it? And do you see how it looks like a graph? And some of the places that didn't have any people that had their arm span that length, there are none. And is the tallest column where we had our most, our most people with that arm span? Yeah, so it kind of works out. This is called a line plot. And this is your data. So we organized our data, we made a line plot. You're fantastic. All right, when you are done with this, take a picture and attach it to the Google Doc and send it to me. Um, and now you also have two math box pages to do, page 195 and 198. All right. Have a great day. I'll see you later.